There's no, there's been a lot of talk on both sides of the aisle about tone and politics, and I was wondering if I could get tone you thoughts. Tone politics? Tone. 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 And I was wondering if I could get your thoughts. I'm not getting into Conan now. I was wondering if I could get your thoughts on cable news' responsibility from you and Bill O'Reilly to Ed Schultz and Sean Hannity, the guys that get on TV and, you know, they are passionate, but they, you know, they bring a lot of uh, interesting rhetoric into the debate on creating people like Michelle Bachman or Alan Grayson. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you guys take any sort of responsibility for it. So you want my, my opinion on this? You can't have it. No, screw yourself, sit down. No, sorry. It was just, I'm sorry, the softball came in. I don't get a lot of batting practice anymore. All right, this, this is after, after my friend Gabby Giffords got shot. I said, we have to drop the violent imagery. And I don't care. I mean, I don't. I didn't go as far as the president said. You know, don't. We shouldn't blame people for this. We should try to tone everything down. I just said, let's stop the violent imagery. Just that. And I dropped the worst persons in the world segment because people might take it like, literally. And I did other things that changed certain parts of the show. And I just said, I apologize. I, I inadvertently used violent imagery once about Hillary Clinton. It wasn't intentional, and that doesn't matter. It happened, and I apologized for it, and apologized for it again. And I called on everybody the night of the Gifford shooting, and everyone else there, I don't want to leave anybody out of that horror. And I called for everybody in, in politics and everybody in media to do something similar. And the only person who came even close was John McCain. I mean, the only person. I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to do that by myself. I'm, I think it is... The, we have enough hyperbole, and I do it as much as anybody else does, and we have sometimes generalizations and all the rest. We don't need the violent imagery. We don't need to be, you know, go out there and kill them and, you know, bring guns to Tea Party events, and we don't need to have uh, Gabby's opponent holding in the hands with, with shoot the, whatever it was, the, the machine guns. That's just a horrible thing. So I think that's the starting point. The rest of it, this, I mean, read the 1800 election and the things that were said and printed in the newspapers and your eyebrows are burnt off because there's still unbelievable statements that were made about each other, about the candidates there. And the country has always survived that. But the violent imagery is the thing we have to work on. And hopefully we can make a start with that. And I apologize for making the joke. For it's just... Um, I would like to say that I write for the Cornell Review, and we do, we love you. We love all of our Cornell alum. We honestly do. I, I think you're an entertaining guy. I don't disagree with you, but I can tell you care about this country. And I, I wrote the article that you stopped on, but we... <laughs>